the Seattle Sounders regular season comes to an end with a 1-1 tie to the Portland Timbers and that makes eight years 11 games in which the Seattle Sounders have not defeated the Portland Timbers here at home so up next for the Sounders is the playoffs let's hear from Brian Smetzer uh, full room in here, thank you. Full room, full stadium, so thank all the fans. Uh, I mean, yeah, I think everybody's frustrated, Jeremiah. Everybody's super frustrated. Uh, this was as good a chance as any. To end that streak, certainly against a lively home crowd with Cascadia Cup on the line, and super disappointed about not being able to bring that to our fans. Uh, you know, what can I say? Game unfolded in a certain manner. I thought we were in control of the game and things, you know, just didn't end up in our favor. We had given no better yellow the first time. I think it was just kind of out of the blue and a reaction because experienced referees would have understood that moment. He would have, you know, kind of felt that. I mean, it wasn't that egregious. I mean, he let a lot of other things go. Certainly Obed is at fault for the first yellow. Can't fault the kid. I can fault the kid for that. But second one, I just think the referee didn't know. I mean, he created a bunch of chances. Unfortunately, none of those led to any goals, but the ball he slips into Jordan. I mean, I thought Pedro had another step forward tonight. Diego. Uh, I think I, I said I'm just accepting responsibility for our performance. It's the playoffs. Uh, that's an experienced team. Uh, we had some good results against Houston in the future, in the past. So hopefully we can continue that and get a couple of two good results in the future. Uh, you know, the playoffs are set up for you know the best of three, and then it becomes single elimination games. And in those single elimination games, if we can get past our first opponent, anything can happen. So yes, we have belief. An experienced coach, so it'll be a challenging series for sure. Jose, Brian, what were some of the positive things that you saw out of your team, especially going down uh, a man towards the end of the match? Uh, the positive for tonight, uh, Yamar's goal was excellent. He was an excellent header. Uh, you know, good, good delivery by Albert, but you know, probably more Yamar. I thought even when we went down a guy, we were pressing to try and score a second goal, and we actually created some pretty good chances. Uh, Reed, when he came on on the right-hand side, actually was pretty good, got us around this guy a couple of times, so that was one positive. But, you know, again, it'll take me a while to figure out if there was any. All right, there you go. You heard from Brian Smetzer and, uh, you know, a couple of the players there. There's no couching this. It was a disappointing draw and as far as as Brian Smetzer said this was a loss to the team so what happens is the Sounders finish the season in fourth place then they will take on the Houston Dynamo a team they have fortunately beaten six games in a row but the Houston Dynamo are feeling good about themselves because they beat the LA Galaxy two to one as far as the Timbers the Timbers take uh, they will uh, play there in the playoff to play number eight Vancouver and then uh, they'll try to move on from there. So those two teams will play in the uh, knockout this week. But as for the Sounders, they have to pick themselves up just in terms of another disappointment and all that was on the line. But talk to Albert Rusnik and he was saying, you know what, the positive now is that they're in the playoffs and you know what, there's, they have a chance here to do something. From the Cascadia Sports.net report, I'm Asvita Mara Ire. Thanks for listening, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for liking.